Okay, so now, so far, we've learned how to create a profile, how to create a dual illuminate profile, how to apply both of these profiles using Bridge and Adobe Camera Raw, as well as how to synchronize that camera profile over to multiple images so that your processing time will go much faster. That being said, we have a lot of users that choose to work in Lightroom. So we're gonna take a few minutes to go over to Lightroom. Now, whether you work in Lightroom, Adobe Camera Raw, or another third-party software, there is not a correct workflow. It just basically is what works best for you in your own workflow. I, I'd just like to take a few minutes to say that because I have had people ask me what, what software works best. Frankly, I feel that Adobe Lightroom and Adobe Photoshop really should be used together. These are tools that each of them have their own functionality and if you're better in Lightroom, if you're better in Adobe Photoshop, work with what works best for you. So that being said, now that we've opened up our images back over in Lightroom and we already have our profiles created, now we have to find a way to apply the profile. So under the develop module, we're gonna go all the way down at the bottom underneath your lens correction and effects options. And then you'll see camera calibration. Here, it's gonna be the same steps as what you were doing in Adobe Camera Raw. So we're gonna click on this little icon here, go down to Studio Tungsten Canon CC Mini, which was the profile we created. And now you see the color is being applied to the image that we have highlighted. We can use this profile, which was a single illuminate profile, or we can also go over and select our dual illuminate profile, which unfortunately I'm not seeing in our list, which is probably because I've not rebooted Lightroom. That's also a very good point. If for some reason you go to one of your applications and you're not seeing the profile, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is shut down that application and restart it. These profiles will be presentable the next time you open your application. Either way, we've now applied the profile to this image right here, but just like when we were working in Bridge, we wanna find a way to make this process much smoother so that you can apply it to multiple images at the same time. And this is how easy this is done. What we're gonna do now is go back to the library option. We're gonna click on multiple images by holding our control and click at the same time. I believe on a Mac, it's the Apple click at the same time. And once again, we're gonna go over to sync settings, which is at the bottom right-hand side of the library module. When you click on the sync settings, this new window is gonna open up and it's gonna allow you to sync all of these different options, just like we had the option to do in Camera Raw. We're gonna click on, actually, first we're gonna click on Check None because we don't wanna sync anything except for our camera calibration. So we're gonna click now the ca calibration option and select Synchronize. As you notice, you'll see that bar running up at that top screen again. And now all of these images have the camera profile being applied. That's how easy this is. I hope that you really enjoy using your Color Checker Passport software with your Color Checker Mini, and I hope you all have a good day. Thank you very much.